Hey guys, this is Brian at Obedia, and I'm going to show you how you can enable track automation in Reason 5 to automate a time signature change in your arrangement. This is real easy to do in Reason. Uh, so with your arrange window open in Reason, if you don't see the automation lane for your transport, you want to right click on transport and select parameter automation. Now the track parameter automation dialog box will show up and here you can select what you would like to automate. And I'll go ahead and select both time signature and tempo. And then I'll hit OK. So now in my transport you're going to notice that I have a section here for time signature and tempo. And there's a little on button. This means that I can turn the automation lane on or off. So now that I have made that change, I need to go ahead and decide where I want to create my automation change. So I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit here and I'm going to use the pencil tool to draw a new block. And I can draw a couple different blocks here and this would be if I wanted to do some automation changes at different times. And now you'll notice that each of these blocks has a small section on the top of it that denotes the time signature that it stands for and each of these is 4-4 but let's say I wanted to go to 2-4 uh, for this block right here I could just click it and select 2-4 and that'll change the time signature for that section in the arrangement so then I can go from 2-4 back to 4-4 and then I could change this one to also match 2-4 and this one to also be 2-4 so now by doing that, I can go from 2-4 to 4-4 to 2-4 to 4-4 and so on. And you could do any of the time signatures that are available to you in Reason. So now when I hit play in Reason, I'm going to see my time signature change in the time signature box down here. And each of these boxes now, the tempo and time sig signature, they're both encircled in green. And this means that the automation is enabled on them. So if I back up to the beginning here and I hit play, I'll see my time signature change. And there you go. So as I move along and I make edits in my project, I can very easily switch to a new time signature by doing this. I hope that this has been useful to you guys. As always, keep in touch with me, brian at obedia.com or on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash obedia tutor. Happy music making to you until next tutorial.